The girl was rushed to the hospital with heavy bleeding down there. However, when the doctor cut open her pants, he was frowning in place, especially when he saw her umbilical cord, which had not yet been cut. Looking at the bloody floor, the doctors had an uneasy feeling. They followed the trail of blood, quickly found the girl's backpack, opened a look a newborn baby appeared. Doctors immediately rescued the baby, but in time, the child was saved. Doctors at first did not know who was so cruel. However, when the girl learned that the baby was still alive, but directly broke down and cried, the female doctor who learned the truth also sympathized with the girl's encounter. After all, she is also a victim. The girl claimed that she, at that time, did not know what was in her stomach, and the moment he was born he was so scared that he threw it away directly. The doctor was instantly speechless. Unbeknownst to him, the tears shed by the girl were tears of doom because just then, the staff of the social service center found the hospital and took out a series of information about the girl. From the girl's information, she was already an adult, and even this was not the first time she had given birth to a child, which meant that the girl was not as innocent as she thought. Since what the girl did involved attempted murder, the staff wanted to take the girl away. The female doctor, however, continued to believe that the girl was just a child, and she even vouched for her identity as a doctor, that the girl must be a victim. The staff told the hospital to think twice if they did not take the girl away at this time. Once the court prosecuted, the hospital would be prosecuted for obstruction of justice. However, the female doctor still believed in her judgment. And now that the baby has been rescued, why should the girl be taken away? The staff of the social service center had no choice but to call the police to take the girl away. However, the female doctor was still bent on protecting the girl. Only in desperation did the police agree to give the girl a statement first. And if the girl was indeed underage and unaware of the situation, they would not wrongly accuse her. The female doctor then agreed, but when they came to the girl's hospital room, but found that the girl had fled the crime. This time the hospital took a big responsibility.